Um, if I feel like I trust myself for sure on clay and maybe on slower surfaces and here um, I try just to accept that maybe sometimes I'm not gonna trust myself and I still need to prove myself in a couple of matches. As Sviatek wins her 34th hardcore match, her 54th match overall, and at age 21, she will play for her third major title. how quickly, look how quickly she gets off the mark with this drop jab. Boom. Just in there in a second. This was impressive from Iga Swiatek. Early stages of this tournament, this was not an easy second round match and she came out ready to play, ready to battle. Yeah, well, I'm pretty happy with my focus today. I think I did uh, better, in, better than in Cincinnati in terms of that because, you know, uh, then I had really ups and downs here. I was pretty solid from the beginning till the end, so I'm pretty happy with that. <laughs> actually started moving forward after she hit this the low ball this was good timing right there on that high ball from Spiantek but that's a tough shot to hit almost look like Spiantek was done with the point but great hands Well, for sure, it wasn't uh, as smooth as in uh, first and second round, but I'm pretty happy that I made it through and I could close it in second set and come back because uh, yeah, that was pretty important for me. But for sure, uh, she played totally differently than um, than most of players, which threw me a little bit of, of the rhythm, but I'm happy that I was fighting till the end. in that second set, down a set and a break. It's all about staying tough today. Um, well, I'm, I don't know, I just, I'm just proud that I didn't lose hope, you know, because she was playing really good in first set. I had a hard time uh, like pushing her back, so in second set I just tried to you know, focus on the small things that are like a base of what we're doing here, and um, I'm pretty glad it worked, and I'm pretty glad that I kind of used my experience to, to keep the same kind of level throughout the whole match. This one here that went off the court looked like it might be going wide, just drops in. This one she takes on the rise, Mare, and right off that baseline. Oh no, a <laughs> little bit in front of it. Still some nice bold swinging from Schrontek. Seems to be to it. Iga Shrontek. 
who had a remarkable streak going at the beginning of the year, including winning the French Open for the second time. Has not had a great hard court summer, but she comes good here. It took a while. It took 47 different rackets. Well, for sure I'm pretty proud of it because I feel like I'm playing better and better every match and Jesse was a tough opponent today for sure. Second set was really tight and um, we both were fighting till the last point and I'm proud of myself that I could be the one to win the last one. New York, please welcome the players for tonight's semifinal. From Poland, the number one player in the world, Iga Świątek. She's number one. <laughs> Love it. This is just terrific movement. I just think against Arena you have to really have the energy, you know, to um, kind of push her back and be able to just, yeah, play back those fast balls any first set for sure. I lacked a little bit um, of that, so I needed to kind of get it together. <laughs> Um, drink some energy shot and just go with it. So I'm pretty glad that I did that. New York. Please welcome the 2022 U.S. Open Women's Singles Finalists. From Tunisia, the first African and first Arab woman ever to reach the U.S. Open Final, Ant Schopper. And the first woman from Poland ever to reach the U.S. Open Final. The number one player in the world, Iga Świata. Is that it? That Come was on. amazing. <laughs> If it had been out, it was still fairly amazing. <laughs> yeah, but I think this thing stayed in. Who moves better than Iga Shrantek? That's got to feel good for Shrantek after the last couple of misses. Honestly, um, I'm 
and coming back after winning a Grand Slam, it's always tricky, even though if, if Ron Garros was the second one, so I really needed to stay composed and focus on the goals, and for sure this tournament was really challenging also, because, yeah, it's New York, it's so loud, it's so crazy. Um, there was so many temptations in the city, so many people I've met who are so inspiring, it's really mind-blowing for me, and I'm so proud that I could handle it mentally, and also, I mean, such an amazing tournament, such an amazing season. Well, I, I, I know that this is, you know, already a pretty pretty nice rivalry and we're gonna have many more and I'm pretty sure we're gonna win some of them, so, uh, so don't worry. Um. Ladies and gentlemen, your 2022 US Open Women's Champion, Iga Sviantek!